Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here on the blue carpet for the 33rd annual Film Independent Spirit Awards. Chris, yeah. I gotta tell I know. I gotta tell you, when I saw this film and I sent you the text, I was like, there are so many Chris touches to this film. And that's what I loved about it, because I know that the Orlando area or anything Disney is close to your heart. It really is, yeah. I'm a Disney geek at heart. And this is, I think, a film that has been inside of me ever since I was four years old. And I went down there for the first time with my family. That's amazing. And I think what uh, is interesting, though, and it's in Anaheim as well as Orlando, yeah. is that sur these surrounding areas, there are so many families that are living way below the poverty line and just trying to struggle to get by each and every day. Yeah, it's true. I mean, my mom actually moved to Orlando about 10 years ago, and that's when, uh, up until then, I had never been outside of the magical radius of uh, the 43 square miles that's Disney World. So when she moved down there, you know, it exposed me to beyond that bubble. And I was like, you know, very surprised to see this going on right in the shadow of Cinderella Castle. And it really tugged on my heartstrings. But what was really great was to see these kids that were growing up against unmagical backdrops, creating their own magic. And just like, you know, they didn't need the Magic Kingdom because they ha they're living in a castle of their own in the Magic Castle Motel. It's so beautiful too. And the actors that you, the young actors that you had acting out you, your words along with Sean's, I, I think really brought that magic to life. I mean, you guys hit lightning in a bottle with Brooklyn. We were gonna delay production because we were searching high and low to find our Mooney and it, nothing was really uh, happening. Uh oh. Hello, Sir Ronan. Hi. Uh, um, so we uh, were gonna delay production and then she walked in the door, blew all of our minds and it, it was just like, we were sort of had this magical aura around the film ever since she came. Once we got her, Haley fell into place with Bria from Instagram, and it was just all coming together at the last minute. I love that. I have to ask, for you, what is your favorite scene in the movie? Oh, wow. I, it's hard to say. I mean, I love the rainbow, because I think the rainbow perfectly encompasses in one visual you know, shot what we were trying to do with the film, but also the Brazilians. When the Brazilians show up, it sort of marries this world, and you sort of get a sense of the outsider coming in and they mistake the motel for the, you know, the uh, they wanted to stay at the contemporary or the Grand uh, Floridian, and uh, the uh, fiance accidentally booked him at the wrong Magic Castle. So <laughs> that's a yeah, that's a, holly, a honeymoon gone south when you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, one final question, because yeah. you and Sean really work magic together. Oh, thank you. What's next? We uh, every time we do one of these things, we're lucky enough to have a couple of more doors open. So we're just gonna go into the idea vault and see what happens. There's a love story that we've been dying to tell, unconventional love story. So we'll see what happens with that one. All right, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I love your films together. Oh, thank you. Let's go back to Disney sometime. <laughs> Let's do it. I know, that was really fun. Yeah, I know. You're a fun person to go to Disney with. Thanks, Kristen. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite independent film of 2017 was.